lounge and sun. Welcome back to the Comic Lounge. My name is Ryan, and with me today is one of my favorite working artists in the biz. I got Philip Tan with me, uh, doing a lot of awesome stuff, dude. You, you know, helped relaunch Shang Chi a little a couple of years back. Did the Shadow Hawk book, which I want to talk about, and what you're doing right now with Ronan Book Two. So I'm so stoked to have you on. Hi, Ryan. Hi, everyone. Uh, yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. So I always ask some everybody that I have on the channel for the first time. I like to ask like, what started your love? for comics i remember know what comic books are when i was a kid I, I grew up in the philippines so so um not a lot of kids have comic books over there you know it's it's it, unlike un, unlike in america there's no um you know spinner racks and and, and drug stores that's not how the uh the comic books you know they they they, they have uh, uh specialty shops that sell it over there when i was growing up and uh and i never knew about them until uh, uh you know a schoolmate of mine have you know, have a copy and, and, you know, let me borrow it and kind of got me hooked. And uh, yeah, his, it, it's, it's like drug addiction. I mean, that's same with yeah. everyone, you know, yeah. <laughs> not, not that I know what that would be, but, <laughs> but no, yeah, I, so, totally so, yeah, once, once I got, I got introduced to comic books and, you know, it, it just, it just falls into, you know, if you, I, I fell in love with comics, you know, I, uh, I love the medium. I love the, especially the art and, and just the idea that you know you have you know uh, you have you have, you have artists that, that are creating stories that that I enjoy, um, and you know and writers. I mean, back then, you know, as a kid, you don't really know, even though there's credits on it. You know, as a kid, you don't really pay attention to all that, but it, it it's just amazing, you know. Um, and yeah, that that's how that's how I uh, got started in comics. And so, like you said, like you at first, you don't really pay attention to the creators, but like once you did start paying attention, like who did you find? Like what what creators did you kind of gravitate towards? Who were some of like your favorite characters that you kind of or books that you? Well, I um, I I I I absolutely enjoyed comic books. You know, when I was like I I, I don't know eleven, maybe nine, and um, you know, and and like I said, you know, I I. I I wasn't paying attention to who, who, you know, who was the writer, that there is a writer and a, and a separate artist and all these other things. You just kind of, you know, I, I my friend had different books and I, I just kind of enjoyed whatever he lets me borrow. And it wasn't until like, you know, later on where, where I think I was like maybe 13, 14, around that age where I realized that, oh, you know, there, 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 are, there, are, there are artists that I like that are creating books. And, and, and I, I just happened to, to start with, with Jim Valentino's uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, you know, Jim, at that time, it was a world where I do not know who is, you know, that there are, there are different artists you know, and it didn't really matter to me that there's Todd's doing Spider-Man, Jim, Jim Lee's doing X-Men. All I know is that my favorite thing on the entire planet is Guardians of the Galaxy. And and, and Jim Valentino is a god to me at that point. And so, I mean, that's that's awesome to hear, you know, because like I, I feel like not enough people talk about, you know, Jim's Guardians run because it was it was really popular, you know, when it was coming out. And I've read it. I have the Omnibus. So I know it's a really great series. So it's cool to hear you kind of mention that book. What would you say inspired you to pursue a career in comic books? Like, when did you go from fan to well, like this? Is your... at, a, at a certain point, I, I, I kind of also realized that drawing is probably the only thing I'm good at. <laughs> and, and I mean, you know, I, um, I, I grew up a very traditional, uh, 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 you know, Chinese Filipino family. So your 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 elders would would, would prefer you being a, an accountant, a doctor, an engineer, so, something that that the people are comfortable, you know, that they that they know what what to expect. Um, but but I, I just know that this is probably the only thing I'm I'm good at. <laughs> and 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 uh, to be more specific, I think it was it was um, it was reading. It was until I picked up a uh, uh, Batman Sword of Azrael, and that that was. Uh, that connected to me in, on a very personal level and, and making me realize that, oh, this is, you know, comic books can actually do this to you. And, 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 you know, that, that completely made, you know, made me want to like do that for, you know, for other, for, for kids, hopefully, you know, in the mm -hmm. future. So. And then, so like, what, can you take us through like when you, 
you kind of like, I, I hate to say the words like break into the industry, but like, what was like your first professional work that you got? So, so, uh, Will Sportasha was, was, um, visiting the Philippines back then to promote his, uh, his image book stone, you know, uh, 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 an amazing book that he did with Brian Heverlin at that time. Mm -hmm. And, and, um, you know, I, the, there, there's no re there's, there's not really like conventions or, or sub or, or online, uh, presence that, that aspiring artists can, can, can do and create to, um, to break into the industry back then. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure around that time, you still have to send submissions, you have to attend shows. And that was, pretty much impossible for 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 for, for myself and uh I, I i i i wills had a contest for for his event and and i joined and and i i, I got to know all these people um the artists you know uh jerry angelan uh jay anacleto or lenil Yu. and once i start to to hang out with them um you know wills also had a um he had a school over there to teach comic books and one of his instructors was was uh, Gilbert Monsanto, and 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 I started hanging out with them, um, and 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 started to kind of like put together stuff and see if 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 you know the Wills can we can get him interested in 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 helping me break in, but um and it it it, 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 it a few years you know passed and nothing really happened and um and I just decided to to pull together a few friends you know, um, to, to create a book, you know, I, I figured, you know, the, the sample thing isn't really, uh, uh, making much progress. So we put together a book, um, we did the first issue, um, Will saw it, he really liked it. And, and then, um, he kind of, you know, uh, uh, uh show it to Brian Haberlin, which is, which, which was his uh, partner back then on, on Stone and, and they showed it to Wildstorm and they the and Wildstorm pick it up. That's kind of a long story, but that's kind of how it what happened. Yeah, I mean, and then over the I mean, over the years, like uh, well, you know, we'll kind of jump a little bit forward, but like you work on Spawn, you work on Batman and yeah. Robin, you know, it's the Green Lantern stuff you did. So like you started like really like I think that's more when I kind of I think was brought you were brought to my attention it was probably more from like the spawn stuff, and then obviously you do yeah. some X-Men work. Um, yeah. and I loved what you do with Green Lantern. Lobbies. Uh, so you do with John's. I, I absolutely love that one. Sorry, you're cutting out. Are you there? Oh, yeah, sorry. sorry. Are, you, are you still uh, there? Yeah, hold on. Sorry. Okay, yeah, I think I'm here. Now. Okay, hold on. Sorry. Okay, okay. Think... all right, all right. Sorry about that. It, it kind of got cut off for a little bit. Okay, what was the last okay, thing you heard me say? Um, you were talking about Spawn, and that, that was when it cut off. Oh, okay. So I was saying, like, you know, I discovered you probably through Spawn, and then again, like you started doing the Green Lantern stuff with Jeff Johns with the Larflees, which I really loved that story arc personally. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you know, how was that like working on Spawn back then? Like, were were any of those early image books? I know you mentioned Stone. I know you men mentioned Wills, but were you a fan of some of those like early image comics and like? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I you know I I I love I I love you know from from Cyber Force to 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 obviously Shadowhawk. Mm -hmm. um, you know, to Pip and 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 even Trencher and 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 Brigade. You know, I I I'm, com I'm I was completely addicted to Image Comics. You know, that was that was my that was my formative years. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, I I I remember. As a matter of fact, okay, so kind of rewind it a little bit. I um, I was into comic books and 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 high school happened, and um and I was kind of out of comic books for a little bit. You know, it got. It was, it was, um, and, and then, and then I, and I broke, broke my leg and I was bedridden for, for a few months mm -hmm. and my brother decided to cheer me up and, and got, and, and got me the first issue of Spawn and, and it got my, got me back in again, yeah you know, and I was, so I was drawing while I was, I was, I was, you know, uh, uh, trapped in my, in, in the bed and you know, I was, I was drawing every day. I was like, oh my God, this, this is what comic book looks like right, right now, you know, um, and obviously, I've I've missed a lot of stuff that I I've started to go back and look for afterwards, but but Spawn got me back in at that point. So what was it like? Like I mean, that's that's an awesome story just in and of itself, you know. But to be able to work on that character, how much did that mean to you? Getting to work on that character, it, it was it, it meant the world to me. It meant the world to me. You know, um, I I I think before I, you know, fast forward many years now, I'm working with Frank. I would I would confidently say that that before Frank, Todd was the best comic book 
teacher I've ever I've ever got. You know, just just the wisdom that he shares on 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 how to create comics and and how to you know to consider the elements and when you're you know either making a cover are you you know doing your layouts and stuff like that and and um i i i i don't know if if todd was was predicting my future i think at one point you know i i was asking todd so 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 todd like if 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 you 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 you're like this super popular guy you're super successful and and you're at this point in life where you pretty much have everything and I said, well, if, if you can get together with one hero of yours, who would it be? And what are you going to ask? And, and Todd says, well, it's, it's going to be Frank Miller. And mm-hmm. it's always going to be Frank Miller. And I'm going to ask four things. It's going to be storytelling, 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 and storytelling. <laughs> oh, oh, there's the fifth one. It's also storytelling. <laughs> and, 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 and that's what Todd told, you know, told me back then. And, um, I, I, and I shared that story with, 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 with Frank now. And, 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 and um, obviously, you know, we, we, we both thought you know that was kind of cool and funny but um but yeah yeah it was uh it was it, it was pretty amazing when when i first uh found out that oh yeah oh really i i'm working you know on spawn <laughs> yeah no that's so, that's awesome dude like yeah. i mean like talk about like you know and it was fulfilled. thanks to brian heverly by the way sorry not to cut you off but yeah, like, no, just no. kind of just to kind of wrap up that 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 small part over there you know it would completely with the help of Brian Haberlin that that I I got uh, connected with, with 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 Todd back then. Yeah, he was editing at the time, wasn't he? Was he editing Spawn back then? You know what? In the beginning, he wasn't. He was just helping me out. Okay. You know, I needed a gig, and I was working. Um, I was fit. I I I finished working for Stan Winston, as a matter of fact. You know, um, and and Todd just realized that. Oh, okay. He's close friends with. I mean, uh, Brian realized that he's close friends with Todd's and Todd needed a new artist and um he kind of connected us and 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 you know made it happen yeah that's, a, that's awesome eventually he would he he became the you know editor-in-chief um mm-hmm. so okay Sorry. cool yeah well while while we're talking image i'm just gonna i'm gonna zigzag some stuff in order yeah, yeah, of which yeah. they came out but let's talk about the shadowhawk book that you drew that that last shadowhawk story um can you kind of like walk us through how that project came to you well, you know, like like I said earlier, you know, Jim Jim was 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 a god to me when you know during those very important early years of me discovering comic books, and and I've I've I, I believe it or not, I'm 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 super shy when 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 it comes to my heroes, and I've never got the got the courage to walk up to him at any shows and 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 introduce myself and chat comic books. I was just completely um uh, uh, uh shy. And, and, you know, and, and I would always tell Brian that, you know, if Jim wanted, you know, is just doing something like Shadowhawk again, I'd love to, you know, help out with the cover or something. I just want to, it, it, in a way, pay back, you know, mm-hmm. to, 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 to ignite that fire, you know. Um, so, so when, um, when, 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 when Jim wanted to do this for the, for the image anniversary, and he's like, okay, I just want to have a a, a final Shadowhawk story, and I found out about that, and and I I've been bugging for so long, and <laughs> and and which by the way, at that point, I was still very shy to to go and talk to Jim, and um and and Brian again connected connected Jim and I, and 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 Jim says, oh well, if you have a story, just let me know, and we'll we'll see if if. If that will work out, then I, I it was funny because I actually thought you know it, it's gonna be a, 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 a you know, I, I can do a series and, and Jim's like no 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 one final Shadowhawk story one issue, so so that's how it happened, and 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 you know I'm completely uh, very thankful to both Brian and Jim for for letting me be 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 a part of. It. Yeah, I mean I I love I mean I love Shadowhawk. I love the design of the character. I love the. The whole thing, everything about Shadowhawk, I'm a fan. Oh, of my own. I know Jim is not necessarily like it's not one of his favorite creations. I mean, I think he's <laughs> he's so much has said it to me when I've had him on the channel before. But you know, like I don't know, like I saw you announce, and I was like, oh my god, are we gonna get a new Shadowhawk series? Like that's that's what I was hoping for when I saw your name attached, and then I saw it was a I, one I, shot. You, you you know, I'm 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 working on it, and hopefully I can change Jim's mind. But you know, I I think this might be it. If things, you know, stays this way, this might be it. 
Okay, well, you keep working on it, dude, because I, I want to yeah, see I'm some so, more. I'll do my best. I'll All right, I want to see some more Shadowhawk. That was such a such an awesome book, and it was so cool to see, like, you know, because, I mean, Image has been, it's, I think, well, now it's in its 31st year, but, you know, for the 30th anniversary, I, I was so stoked to see, like, some of the characters coming back. Obviously, Spawn hasn't gone anywhere. Savage Dragon hasn't gone anywhere. There's a few other properties I wish we could have seen, but for yeah. other reasons, like, they're just, yeah. we, weren't, we weren't going to. Um, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was really cool to see Shadowhawk make an appearance, and what a beautifully drawn book, dude! You did a fucking Thanks, amazing Matt. job. I, yeah. Thank you, thank you. And, and but but I, I have to say, um, without Daniel Enriquez and and Federico Blee, that uh, that's that that I I I I don't think it would have had the same effects. You know, um, mm-hmm. you know, Daniel has been my partner in crime for the last you know, I don't know three four years, and 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 I it's you know I probably honestly. Uh, I, I think he's my art soulmate when it comes to you know creating creating the 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 kind of art and and, and story that I want to tell you know he um he re- he he reads a lot of what 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 my 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 goals and motives are with my art and um and yeah Shadowhawk would not look the same without them mm-hmm. at, at least the last Shadowhawk book would not <laughs> yeah 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 no I totally get it dude yeah I mean yeah. you guys are killing it with everything you've been doing together. Um, I do want to talk a little bit about Shang-Chi because, like, you know, yeah. that's a character that, like, throughout his history, like, they have, I know it was really successful in the 70s and then kind of, like, sporadically would have some stuff. But that book you launched with Jean Lun Yang was yeah. phenomenal. Like, it was so it was so good. And I know that the popularity of the character because of the movie, you know, kind of elevated him. How familiar were you with the character? Was that a character that you had read before or that you knew a lot about? Like... I, I I have to be completely um, honest about about Shang Chi, where because um, when I was growing growing up in the Philippines, and and there there were there were a big Chinese community over there, so I had a lot of uh, uh, um, material and novels that that provided me with the same flavor, and so it, 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 I I I wasn't completely immediately gravitating toward picking up those books just because I had so so many other options. And it wasn't until later on that I, I I started to find out about a lot of the 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 stories where where he's interacting with the Marvel universe that I start to go back and read them. What really made me um got on with 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 Gene and 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 DK were which by the way I only did five pages every issue. DK did the 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 lion's share of 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 the of the project and. And I'm a little embarrassed. I, I think he completely, uh, you know, kicked my butt on on on, on the art department over there. You know, he's amazing. But but I thought what I could have brought to the to the um to the project was was the flashback. You know, there was a level of I I, I would like to think that I, I brought a little bit, a level of authenticity to a lot of the things that were part of the past. Mm-hmm. You know, um, because it's so easy to you know, to look at, you know, China's different dynasties and history and all that stuff and, and kind of just easily imagine that they're all going to roughly look the same. And they, they aren't, you know, there's, there's, there's many subtleties and different things. And I thought I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm ethnically Chinese. So, so I felt like, you know, even though I'm, I'm pretty much a, a Filipino, but, but I, I thought I can bring a lot of things that would make those parts of the story look authentic and interesting. Mm-hmm. And, and let them kind of like flesh out that corner of the Marvel universe. So that was what's um, what's fun for me and, and got me to be part of the project. But um, but yeah, like Gene and, and DK, they 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 wrote that book. I mean, yeah, the whole creative team was great. I mean, I just I love your part in too because I love seeing the flashbacks and I like that it fucking it uh you know fleshed uh shang chi out a lot more than than they had really done in the past you know like there was just so much (laughs) you know because i mean it was just like a riff off you you know like what it was in the 70s so to kind of get that that uh i don't know it was like a more grounded approach at times while also having the fantastical elements too and i think that having those flashbacks really kind of like it really made it an important book you know i think it was easily one of the best books i think it was 2020 that came out right i mean i could be wrong yeah i think it was around it was it was because I, I remember uh, uh, taking the project a few months just before the pandemic hit. Okay, <laughs> so so it is it is probably around that timeline. So like 
in terms of like how much research did you do for the book like not just with the character but just like the historical research did you learn anything cool while doing that kind of stuff oh absolutely i mean there, you, you always find things that you don't know about um when you're digging through history and 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 no matter what we think we knew about our past there's always things that that we can we can learn and um and yeah i, I um uh, uh mostly on 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 the costumes and on some some of the architectures um for the flashback scenes you know um but but yeah it, it was it was a ton of fun going through and going through those uh, uh research and doing that job well now i want to jump into what you're doing right now what like a huge project i'm sure you were that, completely stoked to be on it oh absolutely Ro yeah ronin book two with frank miller i have to know the story behind how that happened a book that we didn't think it was going to be a sequel for and how you kind of got in the mix and working with frank well i i, I think when 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 dan left dc you know when when he when he um when he was uh separated from the company I, I I guess you know he had a lot of stuff to 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 finish up and think about is and, and, and all that and there's a lot of relationships that he's got oh, through the years with, with with legendary creators and one of them is is Frank and 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 I this and correct me if I'm wrong if you ever hear a, a, a much more accurate story in the future you know uh, that that might um because this is how I believe it happened and I think uh a uh, uh, Frank asked Dan if he wants to um that that frank wanted to do ronin again and if he wants to go back at dc and edit it and and that's like oh well, you know i don't think i i don't think i want to and i don't think they'll want me back either um and 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 dan says well if you can get it back why don't we just do it ourselves and and i i, I believe that's that's how they decided that they're you know they were able to negotiate and talk to dc about it and and, and come to an agreement and, and Frank was able to get Ronin back and, and do it himself. Um, and, and on my part, you know, like for, for the longest time, I've, I've worked with Dan since forever at DC, you know, I, I, I think up to him leaving the company, it was like the entire 11 or 13 years I worked with Dan mm -hmm. um, on a virus project. And, and most of the time it's on, it's on books that, that he wanted to write, but he didn't have an artist because he doesn't have, really have time to write a complete, full script and, and 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 it's funny we would go to a diner and he would just act out the scenes because he oh, you know, back then there was still back in, in 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 new york and he would fly to burbank every month for 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 his uh one brothers dc meetings and we would we would get together go to a diner and he would act out the scene i would be writing and jogging down notes and that would be the, the it, would, uh, it was on outsiders and we would that would be how an, an issue of outsiders gets done um, every month back then and I think we did like eight eight or nine books or maybe even more than 10 uh, but anyway so so for the longest time I've been kind of you know expressing that 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 if there's any chance that to, to work with Frank would come up you know please give me you know consider me but but it, it never really happened and I think the only time it happened it was with Jim Lee it's not like I can like you know compete with that you're you're, you're gonna pick Jim whoever you know I I I, I don't care who you say if i'm the, if i'm the boss i will pick jim too <laughs> so 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 you know it's um it's it's never happened until until you know dan and frank got together and there's like oh yeah I, that I, I guess dan told frank that he knew the perfect guy for it and 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 it, it also serves one one thing for the way i i i feel right now is that Frank wants to share his knowledge, his wisdom about comic creation. So he's not really, well, I, I shouldn't be speaking for, 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 for Frank sensei, but you know, it, it does feel like he, ju he, he's just out there to, to try and, and, and pass all the knowledge and all his wisdom to, you know, on, on comic creation to, to, to the younger creators. So he was, he was very excited when he found out that, you know, um, you know, Dan got, a. a a relative newcomer on board, and and I love drawing samurais and katanas, and 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 and, and you know I, I loved his Ronin book back in from '84, so it, it was kind of a it was kind of a perfect. Yeah, I mean the the book is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I love I love the black and white 
I'm a huge fan of black and white comics. So to kind of get that, because I mean, the original Ronan was colored. So yeah. what was the decision? Like, was that like a joint decision for you guys to decide to go with black and white? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Frank, Frank is, a, is, is, is a gigantic fan of, of, of manga and especially a uh, uh, lone wolf and cub. And this is, um, this is kind of our love letter to lone wolf and cub. And um, you know, we we want to make sure that we do it correctly. We want to e- e- even 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 the screen tones. You know, um, the the whole manga look. Daniel and I has been we we work on an enti- entire year just to figure out to make sure that all the screen tones doesn't have more patterns. I mean, there were there were promo- I I believe that there were some promotional images where where the screen tones are 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 you know we're still studying on it, so they still have a little more pattern, but. But but you, you a lot of people who does screen tones right now they they just do it digitally and we Daniel's also do it digitally but a lot of times we don't pay attention that it creates more patterns when it's in front of a screen or on on a device or mm-hmm. if it's just held back far enough from you it creates a weird pattern and it took us forever to to figure that out and and yeah you know it's uh, it's. It, it really is is for the 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 two issues are out right now mm-hmm. um but but every single issue is is a labor of love it's i mean like i said like you can just pour over the art and sometimes like i feel like i love coloring in the comics i'm not saying i don't like color comics but there's just something raw about like the black and white and you can really like the art just there's there's nothing that encumbers it you know it's just the art there that you could sometimes depending on a certain book sometimes the color can kind of be too much sometimes yeah, like based absolutely. on the way a book is colored i don't know i i'm not trying to like talk bad about it oh no you know? I, I i hear you and and I, we're, we're we're really not out there to 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 show people that okay this is better or ours is better or what is you know that the colors is weaker or something now i, I love color art it was just we felt like this is a a, a, a form of experience that people haven't been getting for a long time and we would like to provide that. And, and we believe that, you know, we're, we want to try to tell us a, a visual story that could only be done in that manner. You know, there are certain things that, 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 that color definitely brings to life that black and white cannot. And I think mm-hmm. vice versa, there, there are certain uh, emotions and effects that, that to affect the story that only black and white can do. And that's what we're trying to uh, achieve. And what's the like the creative dynamic with you guys? Are you guys getting on Zoom meetings? Do you guys talk the issues we, through? We do, yeah, we do get on um, Zoom meetings um, once in a while. But a lot of times, Frank would send his his thumbnails and layouts, and and he would go, you know, and he, and he would go, okay, Phil, do you do you have questions? You know, most of the time, I you know, he just wants me to to kind of reinterpret whatever story ideas on his layouts are. And, and make it my own. I, I I think the biggest the biggest challenge when we were beginning was was in a way you you, you just can't help and you want you you felt like as, I think as an artist when you work with Frank Miller, you can't help to, but but not turn off that switch and say I, I I this is how Frank would do it. I would do it this way, and and I felt like that would you know that that took me a while to understand that that's not what Frank wants, you mm-hmm. know that he wants. That you guys are working together because he sees something in you that he liked, that that he think would, you know, would be one plus one equals five. It's it, he doesn't want one plus one equals two, you know. Mm-hmm. He want he want chemistry to happen. He want alchemy to happen in your in your creative uh in your creative collaboration, you know. Um. So so that took a, I would say months for for me to 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 to. To shut off that switch and say, mm-hmm. okay, I, I can't be I can't be thinking that I have to draw like Frank or get his style into my artwork. Um, because I, I think he's his 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 layouts alone, I'm already absorbing a lot of things from that. And if I just completely try to ape him, that's probably not gonna be what he wanted. Cause he would he would be planning and 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 visualizing the story the, the the stories and pace and whatnot with your strengths, your artistic strengths in consideration. At least that's how I understand it. Yeah, I think Dan told me when I talked to him that Frank's layouts, some of them are so detailed that you could almost publish those. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
I, 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 not even layouts. I think if, if Frank doodles on a napkin, I, I'm pretty sure that's good enough to publish. Yeah. You know, he's 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 a legend. So yeah. So that, yeah, I was gonna ask like the freedom that you have in terms of like interpreting what his layouts are because like there are some panels, especially or pages in number one where I'm like, oh, that looks like like Frank, but it's Philip, obviously. You know what I mean? But like you can kind of see the Frank Miller in the drawing. Um, but yeah. I think with issue two, those double page spreads just at one after another, after another, like that did not, to me, that didn't feel like that felt completely all you, but like how much of that do you, like when you're doing it, do you determine like, okay, this one, I kind of want to stick closer to what, what he was trying to go for. And then, and the other ones you're just like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to just like completely reimagine the way this is. And, and, but you, you, you know, it's funny that you, you say that because I think, think i actually just just let go and let more frank stay in issue two okay all right and and it, 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 it's finally starting to click that one plus one is, is equal to five that's when it's starting to click where hey you know it kind of fooled you too you thought that was me and and but it was actually really a a a, a product that's 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 frank and i you know and i i i i i, I think we're starting to to at, at least I'm starting to 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 get to what Frank wants, you know. Um, so hopefully the rest of the book, you know, we would uh, the the uh, up to issue six, we would make people happy and 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 surprise people and uh, and and visually hopefully entertain everyone. Because I, oh, I yeah. like you said, I mean, I I I I I felt like I am not trying to consciously ape Frank as much. Or mm -hmm. ignore his his story points and stuff anymore, you know, anymore. Where because you subconsciously does it, like in the first issue, where when I when I when I hit walls and I find things that I completely just don't really understand yet. Sometimes I, I just subconsciously ignores the important parts, and 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 and, and Frank it was very patient. He, you know, he 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 he's, he has been. More patient than he than he has to be on on me on the first issue, and he would come back and he says, "Okay, this is the part that you can't lose, and this part you can kind of explore." So, on issue two, I I completely felt like there's just so much more chemistry and and, and you know and and like I said, alchemy, you know, yeah yeah, visual and alchemy going on. Yeah, no, it's it's a it's a beautiful looking book, dude. I definitely I I'm digging it, and like you said, there's six issues, so. How far ahead are you on the book? I know it's only coming, it's not coming out monthly, it's every other month, but how far ahead well, are you? Well, I, I think to be more exact, it's probably a, a two and a half month uh, uh, schedule. I mean, you know, uh, Dan, well, Dan would probably correct me if if he's here, but he's, he's got more of the exact uh, data. Okay. So it's not exactly, you know, every other month, you know, just the, the, the process just takes so long and and, and I have to say, I, I'm I'm not like the, the fastest artist around, you know, and but I, I think as more as the, the more the more we go, I my personal goal is to be able to complete the the entire you know forty pager and so within a month. But that's my goal. I probably not gonna happen, but that's my goal. You know, uh, you know, Frank, Frank, I think right now he's already finished the 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 fourth issue layout for me. You know, I'm 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 wrapping up the third one, which is coming up in in I I think the solicitation is either on on April or May. Okay. So, you know, and, and he's already started issue five uh, layouts. Awesome. Yeah. I'm excited to see where, where it goes. I love that yeah. second issue a lot. Are there any other projects that you're working on right now? Or is it just all this? We, well, no, no. I, you know, I, it, sadly, I, I, obviously I can't talk about the other ones. Um, there, there's, 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 there's definitely more for Frank. You know, I have some personal ones, but those aren't obviously have they don't have like solid publishing plans. Um, you know, I, I have I have a a a a project as actually I have a project with 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 um with Mark Guggenheim that, that's a little bit on the you know on hold right now, but I you know I'm chipping away on that. It's it's a it's a it's a passion project of ours. Um so I'm I'm working on that, you know, on the side, but and and fo but focusing mostly on on Ronin right now because you know, the, when when you get Frank sharing wisdom, you you just you just have to make sure that you absorb everything. But yeah, but but we have another we have another really exciting thing for Frank after, 
which might be two things, but you know, it's one thing for now. And hopefully okay. you guys are excited for, for, for things that's going to come out. Yeah, dude, I'm excited for everything, dude. I, I, I'm a huge fan of your work. Um, before Thank I let you, you go though, I want to ask you, um, what are you, cur- I know you're both, well, I know you're probably busy at the drawing board all the time, but um, what comic books have you read lately or recently that you've been digging? Well, you, you know, I've been, I've been going back, rereading a lot of stuff, you know, um, yeah. you know, I have my, my, my floppies and, and collections. Um, as a matter of fact, my, 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 my Guardians of the Galaxy copies, I still have them, you know, I, I brought them here when I moved to, you know, when I moved here 20 something years ago, you know, they're from, they're from when I was younger and, and and I didn't care about its condition. It's still got plastic and it's tape all over and stuff like that. I still have those copies, but but now that you have your your collections and omnibuses out, I I you know I've been um, picking up a lot of the '90s stuff that that I have floppies of, but I didn't have really have like a good collection. So I, I would pick them up and 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 kind of revisit them right now and 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 just kind of get inspired again by this raw energy of of stuff you know, stories and visuals, you know, I like, you know, I, I read a lot of manga still, you know, um, that, that's, that's something I'd never stop. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I don't have one particular thing that I follow, you know, or like a creator where I would go, okay, if he does it, I'll, I'll pick it up no matter if I like the new style or not, you know, and I, I don't have someone like that, that, that I follow right now. Um, I do check out a lot of new books, um, but but most of the time I just don't have that much more time and 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 I I would weigh my interests and and my nineties uh, collections are more much more important than a lot of stuff. <laughs> so I would re- I, I've been re- like I've been rereading the uh, the the John Bar Namor from the nineties where okay. where where J D became you know became the oh, artist so, so, so of himself. So I've been rereading so a lot of things. Yeah 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 man. It's yeah. crazy to see like that because I didn't even know that he did the name more. I just think it's funny that you mentioned, it, but because I read it like within the last year, but his style was so different than oh, what yeah, it is now. You know that you almost wouldn't even recognize it as Jay Lee. Well, I, 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 I think I, 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 I think companies back then because they're smaller, mm-hmm. there's there's more chance to take risk, and I'm not saying Marvel was a small company; they're a big company, but compared to being part of Disney, it's a different. Right animal altogether and and they have more chance to take risks and a lot of the things that that you know might not exactly have the perfect dialogue or the, the artwork might not have perfect anatomy but who wants perfect anatomy i mean you know if everything looks like a painting then you know it's not going to be fun you know you you need people with their with their taste and their biases and their and their and their artistic you know uh uh uh, uh, uh styles coming out you know or energy in my opinion is is it's a it's a it's it's a it's something that you can't really quantify in mm-hmm. in comics. That's something that that hooks younger readers or you know or, or older readers too. But but you know those are things that it was. I think younger people tend to see it immediately and they get hooked and they get hooked for life. Right. You know, and that's something that hopefully I, I'm I'm trying to see, and and hopefully I still have that. You know, I I want to have that. You know, um. You know, and, and doing doing Ronin and a lot of the stuff for Frank, I I, I would revisit a lot of my uh, uh uh you know Blade of Immortal books and, and Vagabond books, you know. Um I I've I've introduced Blade of Immortal to Frank and, and he's like, Oh my god, this is awesome, what is this? And it's like Frank, it's a, it's from Dark I mean the Dark Horse has has has, has been reprinting them too, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but, that's uh, a book I definitely want to get to. Blade of Immortal, I have not read. Vagabond oh, is like is so to. impossible. Vagabond is like long out of print, I think. No, no, no. You might you might be able to find some. You know, I I, I think Vagabond is still fairly new. Um okay. fairly. You know, okay. it, it's still around in the early, early two thousands, you know, to okay. the to the to the two thousand tens. I think that's that's around when it when when it was going on. So you'll be able to find them, you know. I, I think there are even like the the, the the collected the, the super thick collected ones you know that are that are very reasonable in price uh, but anyway so so those are the books i read right now um now like i said i mean there's just too much uh, i know to, there's a, there's a ton of stuff there's so much yeah, coming I, out I, I mean it, like i said yeah. it's, now is like the best time in comics i think just in terms of like the different genres the different types of yeah. comics there's a comic book for everybody 
And absolutely. You, and I love, like I said, I, I love all the stuff that you've been doing over the past couple of years and Thank long you. before that. Can't wait for more Ronan. I cannot wait to see what else you guys have planned together too. I'm Thanks, very man. excited yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah. So um, before I let you go too, uh, if for everybody listening and watching, if you could just share where they can find you online and I'm going to drop all the links down below for everybody. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm, 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 I'm pretty much a Philip 10 art on, on Instagram, Twitter, social media, you know, um, it's just Philip 10 art that, that, that's it. <laughs> all right, cool. You know, man. I, 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 I don't think I'm uh skill enough to do YouTubes and all these other much more, uh, advanced stuff <laughs> all right man cool well I, I thank you again so much for taking time to chat with me and uh, i definitely would love to do this with you again sometime in the future yeah yeah man thank you ryan